everyone in today's review we have the 2022 infinity q60 red sport unfortunately this is the end of an era for the q60 so i wanted to do one last review on the q60 as we see it go uh, so they're no longer building the q60s after i believe this month december of 2022 now let's see what we get in this particular model i'll go over options and features specifically for the red sport and what it's missing now this model shown here msrp is 63,000. 665 um it is missing like two to three major options i shouldn't say major but they're pretty big uh, so that way you know but the paint color is a 695 paint option this is finished off in the mineral black with a graphite interior you can choose a gallery white interior or a red interior which is really nice to enhance the q60 red sport that you purchase standard you get everything blacked out the biggest difference is the blacked out front grille this is missing the carbon fiber package. I forgot how much it is right off the top of my head, but within the carbon fiber package, you can just choose like a whole package and it gives you all the carbon fiber trim pieces, or you can pick and choose within the carbon fiber package what you want. Uh, for example, it'll black out some of the, or it'll carbon fiber some of the front. I forgot exactly what trim pieces, but while we're in the front, you do have full LED turn signals, low and high beams. Uh, so that's really nice there. You do have your radar sensors right there. This is missing the proactive package. I really wish they made a standard, but again, uh, they killed off the Q60. What that proactive package does is, well, it'll add the uh, steering assist, I believe, the lane intervention, and the blind spot intervention. This only has the warnings, but it'll still have the full speed range adaptive cruise control, I believe, if you want like the steering assist, where it tries to keep you in your lane, you'd have to get the proactive package. This comes standard with these wheels. These are 20 inch wheels riding on 255 width tires. They all run flats. You can get a forged aluminum five spoke wheel. I believe that's like a $1,900 option. I'm just guesstimating here guys, uh, so don't quote me. Now, if you did get the carbon fiber package, you can carbon fiber this trim piece, which is all gloss black, and you can carbon fiber your side mirrors, which is also all gloss black. If you look very closely, you can see, uh, I just blocked it. Let's go this way. The, metallics in there we just cleaned it a little bit so it's a little bit dirty from the water marks but that looks really nice here is a side profile as we come off to the rears you are looking at full led tail lights these are your turn signals you do have reverse lights which is right there this little button opens up the trunk standard all-wheel drive or i shouldn't say standard but this is an option real wheel drive is standard on all q60s i believe now, now that we're at the rear, the last uh, option that you can get on a Q60 is an upgraded uh, exhaust. That'll be dealer installed. I don't think you can get it from the factory. I don't know how much that is right off the top of my head, but if you wanted that installed, it wouldn't void your warranty. You just go to your dealer or wherever you're purchasing it from and see if they can install that for you. So that's the three biggest options. You're looking at the carbon fiber package, the upgraded exhaust, and the wheels that this one is missing oh and also the proactive package so that there's actually four packages premium is required and then underneath the hood we'll go take a look at what's underneath it and go from there so we as we enter you do have keyless entry this button right here is used to lock the vehicle pull that once come off to the front there should be a lover right under the little indentation right there now lift it up it's held by hydraulics you have the v6 twin turbo pushes out 400 horsepower 300 pound feet of torque made it to a seven speed automatic transmission i really wished that they threw in the nine speed it would have just made things a little nicer but again they're killing it off hopefully they'll do that they'll do that little upgrade for the q50 as it's still alive and in production, uh, they'll probably run it until 2024, the 2025 until the new EV comes out to replace the Q50, Q60. Now going back to the interior here, you can see this is the graphite interior. You do have the matte carbon fiber. You do have a light LED strip on both sides, two person memory seatings, automatic window controls. You kind of expect that uh, folding mirrors. And then you do have the 16 bows audio system it is a performance uh, so you do get the metal speaker covers and then you do have you can get the option of a welcome lighting for the q60 illuminated kick plates are standard and then you can see the graphite interior this is a semi in the lane so you do get real leather 
I believe for the Q60 you have the quilting design, which I really wish they threw into the Q60 here. Would have enhanced the ambiance of the interior. These are your lumbar, and then these are your regular seat controls. I believe it's only like a 10-way higher adjusting seat. As we move that back and hop into the uh, the front of the vehicle here, or the cabin, you do have a nice steering wheel. These are really old gauges, but they work really nice. So if you like your traditional layout, uh, they're gonna look really nice. Let's light up the vehicle here. You can see your old navigation system. And you do, this is eight inch, this is seven inch. Uh, I really wish that the two resolutions here were really uh, the, the same kind of resolution to keep everything consistent. You can cycle through the plethora of information here. Not really much, but at least you do get a digital speedometer. Uh, so if you do like your traditional layout, that's what you get. You don't get a heads up display and I really wish this was frameless. Would have enhanced uh, the interior again. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, no ventilation. Uh, again, this is a pretty old vehicle, but still nice. If you like something that's uh, a driver's vehicle, not really much technology, but gets you around still, this is still nice. And then everything is stitched, uh, red stitch, which matches the red sport, which is nice. And then as we go off to the rears, I'm not gonna go to the rears, but I will show you how it looks like. If you buy a coupe, you kind of know there's not much space, but you do get a uh, two-seater configuration. And I like how it's kind of bolstered, uh, so it actually tucks you in pretty well when you're sitting in the back. So everything does follow up nicely there. Lastly, if we open up the trunk, that's a little bit of cargo space you get. And it's actually pretty deep. So that's the nice thing. Uh, you do get a 100% uh, folding rear seat so it doesn't fold like 60 40 or 40 20 40 at all so it just folds as one entire piece but that is the look at the q60 red sport here if you guys have any questions about the q60 let me know otherwise we're hoping for an ev to replace this vehicle otherwise it's still very very sleek i wish they would have continued to make this car but again who knows no one buys scoops nowadays this wraps up the video. I will catch you guys in the next video whenever I decide to make one. All right, guys.